We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest in Hungary and I'm very pleased to be joined by Nadim Sheikh who is founder and CEO of Anthemis. Nadim, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you so much for having me. Now the theme here at ITU Telecom World is accelerating innovation for social impact. Uh, perhaps I can start off by asking you, how do you see ICT innovation directly impacting on social economic development? Sure, I, I think there is a, uh, there's a major transformation going on in industry. Right? Um, and it started with the consumer and you know what we call the digital native consumer and this uh, digital native consumer is no longer just the young ones they're everyone every age every creed every culture and nationality around the world um, and what is happening there is a really fundamental shift going on in the business model and the organizational model that goes with it uh, so the hierarchies we had from the 20th century are disappearing uh, which also means that the uh, impact of social uh, along with the technology and along with the business environment allows us to really reconfigure solutions that we never thought possible before even five years ago. And so we're seeing uh, you know, startups coming in which are really uh, you know, formulating a very different way of doing economics. So stuff that was considered out of reach, out of price for consumers is more become reasonable, they're making very profitable uh, propositions. And then combine that with the scale, then you have a whole different ballgame. Tell me a little bit about Anthemis. What, do you, what uh, are you mainly focusing on? So we, uh, we are a, you know, financial services, in the financial services space, uh, we invest in disruptive startups uh, around the world uh, where we invest in, uh, you know, new banks, new type of insurance companies, payment, wealth management, mobile plays. Uh, then we also have an advisory business to really help the industry figure out how this new innovation is going to impact them. So we take the ideas from zero to one in terms of from really early stage uh, and seed them uh, to really then helping they scale them up from one to N. Uh, so it's a combination of really how do you refigure, reconfigure financial services for the 20th century from both angles, both from the industry as well as the innovators. And what do you think is the key of encouraging entrepreneurship and fostering the growth of SMEs in the ICT sector? I think it's very important. I think so. As I talked about this in the panel this morning uh, on the industry SME panel. Um, there is a, a it, what the, the SMEs must really, really focus on is developing good businesses, right? That, that basic premise of a good business has to be there. I am seeing so many SMEs now who are, because it's very easy to start up, uh, do a startup these days. A lot of, you know, half-baked ideas, which are mostly products and features, and there's a lot of noise about saying how we're not getting funding around this. For the uh, folks that are really setting up good businesses uh, in whatever segment of it, um, and understanding how to approach the customer, who the customer is, how to make it a profitable business, how to scale it, they have no issues raising funding. They have no none whatsoever. In fact, they are the other way around. They are sitting there and saying, "Why should I take money from you?" And the debate as opposed to, "Why should you know, please give me money?" And then also is, oh, "Why should I partner with you? I don't need to partner with you." And so we are seeing. So what I, I really focus on when we do our investments and stuff, we really focus on the founders. Uh, why they're passionate about some idea because they require tenacity to build these businesses. And it's not an easy thing to do, um, but I would encourage folks to really think about business as opposed to products and features and looking for the nearest you know, exit to, you know, to raise, get some money in, right? It doesn't work that way. And how easy is it to sort out the weed from the chaff? How, how, uh, how are you making your decisions? Yeah, it's not easy unless you have a, a thematic focus around this. Uh, we have been looking at this industry for nine, ten years. So we started investing in what is called fintech uh, really eight, nine years ago when there wasn't such a thing, right? There were maybe 50 companies worldwide. Now there are thousands of companies. Um, and you have to have really a thematic focus and good understanding of the fundamentals of this stuff and uh, and uh, really absolutely look at this as a business and saying, what are the right businesses and you know all the metrics that go for a business. This is not the internet age of the 2000s. Uh, where you know, people are just investing willy-nilly in good technology. This is really about focus on that basic fundamental stuff. A lot of people are turning to crowdsourcing. Is that the answer? I think it's one of the answers for certain things, uh, you know, it, but it's not necessarily the answer for all businesses. Uh, there are some lending models which are turning into from crowdsourcing models. There are also some insurance models which is crowdsourcing data information. So there's applications of that, but uh, we shouldn't get carried away that as being that being the solution to everything, right? Now, you're based in the UK. I mean, what, what about in a worldwide perspective? So we, we are based in you know UK and Geneva as our fundamental offices, but we invest globally. Uh, so we invest uh, a lot of investments in the US and Europe. Uh, we have investments in Asia and Africa. Uh, we also do advisory businesses with clients around the world, uh, really with the exception of Latin America, we're present pretty much. 
I think what's changed is that uh, this idea of innovation only happening, happening in a couple of places in the world like Palo Alto has changed. Now we're seeing really across the board, uh, from Lahore to Kenya to you know to Tallinn in Estonia uh, to Bali, in Indonesia, lots of places where people are you know communities are forming, the ecosystem being reconfigured. The social part of our world allows us to do it very differently. Uh, so the accessibility to good ideas and good execution, good teams doesn't have to be in a physical space anymore. So that connectivity is changing the way we operate and where the innovation is happening. So we see it happening globally and there's disruption going on everywhere. And what about uh, the gender question? What about gender balance? I mean, we at ITU heavily promote to girls in ICTs and their involvement and, uh, and how they should be enthusiastic and involved in, in ICTs. I'm just wondering uh, if you've seen the growth of female entrepreneurs in this, in this field? Well, we, we've certainly seen that. Uh, you know, we, uh, uh, one of my colleagues runs a foundation out of uh, Bratislava. Uh, which is focused on women entrepreneurs. Uh, but really, I think it's uh, we are seeing good ideas come from everywhere, and women entrepreneurs are certainly becoming that. I think the, um, the traditional hierarchy of the networks is changing. Uh, and again, in our world of digital and social connectivity, the, those the networks no longer apply, so which means that people who are not traditionally focused on network can now work. Right? So we're seeing uh, really ideas from all kinds of places, and suddenly women entrepreneurs are some of the leading lights in some of our industry. And what's the value of you, for you attending events such as ITU Telecom World? I think it's about uh, sharing, it's about network, it's about uh, getting ideas. I, I met someone who's apparently following one of our portfolio companies as a partners with them, I didn't even know, just randomly ran into them. Um, so it's a, it's a great forum to uh, really uh, uh, connect, uh, make some new connections, uh, and share some ideas and thoughts and kind of hopefully go back a little bit enriched. Nadim, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you so much, appreciate it. That's great. Thank you. Thank you.